Alrighty, back here in Michigan, giving you a live look at Corktown and of course, Michigan Central Station. The Ford Motor Company has rehab. They're getting ready for the grand opening on June 6th. And as part of that transportation uh, transformation, the Ford family has teamed up with the Children's Foundation to start a new $10 million endowment initiative for 10 children's charities in Metro Detroit. I had the opportunity uh, just a few days ago to speak with Lisa Ford and Children's Foundation CEO Andrew Stein about this new effort and who it will impact. We're at New Lab at Michigan Central, just across the street from the train station here in Corktown. Of course, the amazing renovation that Ford Motor Company has undertaking. The grand opening is going to be in June. We're going to be here for that for sure. But we are talking about a big announcement this week that is going to impact so many young people across our entire region. And it is the Michigan Central Station Children's Endowment Campaign. It's going to be supporting 10 nonprofits, and it's also a partnership with the Children's Foundation. So joining me now is Lisa Ford, you're chairing this campaign. Yes. And also Andrew Stein from the Children's Foundation. It's Thank great you. to see both of you. Thank you. I'm even sitting in this place right now, the sunshine coming in. This has really been such an amazing project. Oh yeah. It's it started a while ago and it continues. This uh, new lab at Michigan Central is the innovative hub right now. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start about, uh, you know, this endowment and the project. Where did this come from, Lisa? The conversation surrounding the necessity of it. Right. Well, I have to say it's uh, it happened pretty quickly. We decided that we wanted to make even more of an impact um, with the opening of the train station across the way. And uh, what better impact than with children? So um, endowment became the obvious uh, tool that we wanted to embellish and bring back to life in the sense of it's not used that often in child uh, youth facing organizations. So the combination of the opening, children, endowment, off we were running. And uh, Andrew here is the professional, so he uh, understands what all the details are. Yeah, yeah. You find that partnership. And Andrew, when you talk about the endowment and the kind of money that you can start infusing into these nonprofits for that base for, you know, in perpetuity is really important. That's right. And, you know, we were approached about this project uh, late last year. Big credit to, to Lisa and Bill and a, and a steering committee that's been helping us. You know, Lisa came to us and said, we want to do something that's innovative and impactful and lasting, just like that train station. And we're thinking about endowment. I said, nobody talks about endowment for, you know, youth serving organizations. It's something that's typically for universities and hospitals and cultural institutions. But by focusing, focusing this campaign on endowment, what we're, what we're doing is we're helping 10 organizations be here in this community as long as Michigan Central and New Lab are here. All right. So talk a little bit about what you're trying to achieve in terms of monetarily and how the match will go. Well, our goal is $10 million, mm -hmm. at least $10 million. So that is um, doable. We thought that was doable in the short period of time that we had to do it. It also allows us to pick, uh, choose uh, a 10 charities and divide it. 10 ways. So the scheme is, um, Andrew, go ahead. Sure. So um, <laughs> we're going to run a process after the station opens on June 6th. We're going to really turn it over to the community to help inform what are those 10 organizations that are that are anchors and need to be here in perpetuity. They'll have an endowment of $500,000 seated for them. And then at the Children's Foundation, we're going to work with them over the next two years and really coach them on how to leverage the fact mm -hmm. that they've got this asset now raise money into the endowment that'll be matched dollar for dollar. And the goal is for each organization over the next two years to have a $1.5 million endowment, which will start to produce for them annually about $70,000 in unrestricted, use it as you see fit to fulfill your mission revenue. Yeah, and that's a game changer for these organizations. And Lisa, it really makes me think about relationships. Because right. once you start and you say, well, we've invested this much, and then you start talking to others and saying, well, if there's already this much invested and I can match it here, yes. it's all about having those conversations. It's, that's exactly right. And they're going to learn all about that right here in Michigan Central, because part of the training and the coaching they'll get will be able to uh, mingle with those that are also raising money for their startups, all the creativity that's going on here and the innovation. It, it, it follows that they will have a cohort that can drop in here and learn about what others are doing. So we hope that ripple effect will continue just past these 10 organizations. 
look, you've already been working on this for months, mm-hmm. but then when the news kind of came out this week, what's the reaction been that you've, some of the calls you've been getting? Oh, everybody is yeah. like, wow, that's, that's really cool. And, and people thought, uh, how are you doing that? And I said, well, I'm not doing it. This is a group effort. This, we have a wonderful steering committee of about 15 people. We have a, we realized we needed even more people to help us. So we have a cabinet of about 40 to 50 people and everybody is opening doors, raising money their way and um, encouraging and extremely uh, enthusiastic support. Yeah, I, when you talk about so many people being involved in this, and Andrew, when you think about community input, which is what B- Michigan Central has exactly. been all about mm-hmm. in terms of development and, and the rehab of it and talking to the community and what they want to see here. Uh, we're looking for 10 nonprofit organizations. How do you choose? What's the timeline like? Mm-hmm. So that, that's the work happening right now. We've engaged a lot of the foundations that have supported this effort or helped helping us finalize the eligibility criteria and the application and all of that. We'll run that process through the summer after the station opens. But I, I've heard a lot from my peers that lead youth serving organizations in the community. Excitement for, for anyone who, who leads a youth serving organization is looking at this and is wondering, is this for me? Am I eligible? That'll all be made clear over the next few months. But our hope is that, you know, we get a, a, a broad interest from organizations and are able to to make this something that can benefit organizations that are larger, but also some of our smaller organizations that really do need the type of support to be here for the long term. Yeah. And Lisa, we talked so much about innovation. I mean, being where right. we are right now in New Lab and, and help for businesses and entrepreneurs, but to be able to give back to the children of the area across the area for years and years to come, it's just huge. Children are our future. I mean, that is the bottom line here. And to invest in children and have an impact now and as it goes on, endowments don't end. Um, it, it feels really good. I'm sure yeah. it does. All right, yeah. well, we can't wait to see what's next. Lisa Ford, thanks so much for joining us. Andrew Many thanks. From the Thank you. Foundation. Yeah. Good to see both of you. <laughs> we will celebrate the grand opening in uh, just good. a couple of months. Absolutely. Yes. Be good. Perfect. All right. Yeah, June 6th. I can't believe it's already it's already here. Now, if you're interested in learning more about uh, the Michigan Central Station Children's Endowment Campaign and how to donate or get involved, just go to our website. I click on Detroit.com. We'll have the, all the information for you there.